Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Good Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We're here uh, at the Panettone Cafe in Warsaw, which we'll be filming at at least one time a week through the rest of the year. So a new uh, new location, some new background for you all to also take a look at. And uh, Winston, great to see you in this early mon mor Monday morning. And, right, uh, yeah, you nice know, to welc here. welcome to the Panettone Cafe. Lots yeah. of great coffees and cakes we had and sandwiches. So great place. Um, also, it's a little little extra room here in the cafe, so if you want to do little me short meetings or cocktail parties, this may be a place to, to, to host some uh, corporate events or some events or, I don't know, birthday party or something. Um, nice, nice extra room for potentially up to 20 people, I think, yeah? I think you could squeeze maybe could, 20 people 20, in here. They're not too big. Anyway, so as we talked about, as we did last last week, we had our uh, CEE Retail Awards here at the Intercontinental, 15th annual, um, again, sold out event. We had, gosh, over 100, under, uh, over 100 retailers, brands, also um, web-based brands looking to enter the market. Very interesting group. Um, um, a lot of tech companies this year, yeah? I mean, I can see this prop tech is really, uh, really picking up, yeah? Some big big winners there, some big names as well. So. Yeah, definitely a, a bigger interest now. So uh -huh. they must be, I think, more active in the market, which is a good sign. Exactly. And uh, so, uh, like, if you, you know, we talked about it more on the Friday show, but, of course, uh, what you can see all the winners and everything also on our website, uh, europaproperty.com or uh, retailawards.eu. Uh, Anyway, a lot going on there, a lot more coming up with retail. Um, we do a big SEE, CEE deal-making event in Prague, um, which will take place May 18th in, uh, in the Słowacki Dom. And again, a lot of, a lot of retailers, um, brands, web-based brands, tech, all coming to meet uh, owners, developers, and uh, vice versa. We set up the meetings for you ahead of time. So... Uh, if you don't have a meeting point there yet, let me know because that is going to be another great opportunity to really meet and uh, do deals. It's our deal making event there in Prague. Uh, and that's May 18th. Um, also, we have SEE Awards coming up, which is, of course, covering office, warehouse, retail, hotel, a lot of logistics. I think this year it seems like a lot, a lot going on. Uh, Cover in in covering SCE. That's uh, April sixth at the Radisson Hotel, and again, always sold out. Always a great event for that that region. A lot of investors coming in for that too, and and I just get a lot of lot of inf lot of lot of um, um, interest already. You know, the a lot of the uh, let's say old or old clients or clients that are always there, but a lot of new new ones as well. Oh, that's and, interesting. And quite a few retailers, because I think that's a big, that's an area, Southeastern Europe, where it's the next step if they haven't gone there yet. So a retail development. Group. Yeah, so a lot of, of course, Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia, the whole region there, uh, a lot of uh, other, um, uh, Moldova, quite a few people coming up from Moldova as well. And uh, they just did a big election, new, new prime minister there. So I saw that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so very interesting. Also, more Western leaning. Let's hope it, you know, that goes well. So a lot going on. We also have on May 25th, which I know sounds like a long time away, our Baltics Real Estate Awards in Sopot. Um, we have a lot of investors uh, coming in, or a lot of pretty good number of investors coming in from Scandinavia, looking for opportunities in the Baltics, and really covering all countries around the Baltics, the Nordics, uh, the Nor whole Nordic re region, of course, Scandinavia is part of that. Uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Poland, uh, Denmark, um, North the Baltic region of Germany. So a lot of, um, <clears throat> also we have the marinas, we have the ports, which brings in a lot of logistics business. Uh, luxury living, that's a nice, nice, always nice to be on the Baltic, uh, especially in the summer for a place to live. So a lot happening there, and then uh, what else do we have on? And then our launch party for the CEO Awards at uh, the Hilton in Serbia. So that's May 11th. So uh, pretty busy, huh? Yeah, I'm just trying to um, to remember all those dates. Timetable and oh, I'll put all the. Someone's got to put all that together. Someone's got to do. Well, at least you know there's you know stuff to do. Got my holiday. Off. You won't be bored. Yeah, yeah. Holidays in June. 
after June or in June after after May. So a lot going on. We definitely would like to invite you all to all of our events. A lot of fun. Um, you know, not to mention uh, not to mention Mippin coming up, which we have a stand at a little cocktail party. Second day there. Um, Three o'clock on our stand. Come by if you're walking through the fair downstairs. We're minus, we're P minus one, I think H75, which is one of my, uh, which Daryl said is one of his favorite numbers, actually, H75, funny enough. So we have a cocktail party there, CEE, SEE, if you want to meet some people from that region. Second day of uh, Mippin, uh, pop on by. We'll also be sending out invitations, but you know, definitely if you're walking through the fair, come and come and see us. We've got our uh, Europa property real estate guide, also uh, as we're one of the again one of the the international media partner for the re for gosh the last twenty years I think uh, we have extensive distribution throughout the hotel chains there and also uh, the the fair itself. I think deadline's coming up for advertising on yeah, that, Yeah, we've it? got the, uh, the deadline around February 20th. February 20th, and, yeah. Uh, we're doing a massive ESG section, so uh -huh. um, still, you know, still, still like to get some comments on that. So yeah. if someone's interested to send me some, some details about ESG and what they're doing, then we're, you know, we'll try and get it in the magazine. Right, great. And a great section to advertise in. If you're a developer or uh, consulting and doing anything with ESG, that's where you want to be seen. Also, I noticed at Mippin, there's a couple of uh, of uh, projects and uh, developers up for uh, for uh, nominations for awards at Mippin. So uh, I looked through the list, and there's actually two in in Eastern Europe. Both both are in Poland, actually, Central Eastern Europe. Both are in Poland. One is from Panettone, and one is uh, this Norblin. Uh, Just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, Fabric uh, Norblin, uh, Fabrica Norblin. I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong, but anyway, two to vote for. Both great projects, especially, I mean, Norblin has great lifestyle, whole lifestyle uh, change for, for, uh, for, for Warsaw. Great. Everything there is good. They just are, are opened uh, Mox, Moxo, M-O-X-O. I guess you hang out there, right? The kind of nightclub-ish dinner place. Right. Anyway, yeah. just opened great. Another great spot. Um, so definitely vote for them at Mippin. Of course, a lot of other great projects, but those are the project. Those are the uh, the big projects here in our in our region, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about them in the next in the upcoming days. So, uh, having said that, let's jump over to uh, Winston Norman, our editor in chief. Uh, get the news. We'll take a little break, and we'll be right back uh, with Winston and the news. Welcome back, and uh, Winston Norman, our editor in chief. Uh, welcome to the Panettone Cafe and our uh, our first um, first real news. Uh, yeah, thanks. Presentation, thanks for It's nice to be in a new location. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, yeah, so here the news uh, from the the website for today, and uh, it's uh, like a little trip around the region today. We've got news from almost right. every country. Excellent. So uh, we'll start in Warsaw, and uh, there's a new German investor going to enter the market. They okay. recently it's called the Livos Group. And uh, they've recently acquired uh, 63 uh, residential units in the Zwarty 44 building. Hmm. And um, 63? Six, okay. 60, 63 of them, yeah. Wow, okay. And uh, so uh, that now this, um, this the, the, it's Catella Residential Investment Management. They're the ones that hold the building. Right. Uh, now they're, they've withdrawn from the building and apparently withdrawn from Poland as well. So. Oh, okay. All right. So new, new blood. New blood in Poland, right. yeah, new German okay. investor. Okay. And, um, yeah, so uh, obviously this, this building designed by Daniel Liebskind, you know, 52 floors, total of 287 units, and that uh, was de delivered in 2016, I think. So now it has new owners. So I guess re Resi for rent again, yeah. Resi for yeah. rent again, probably, yeah. And uh, moving to the capital of uh, Hungary in Budapest, and Skanska has opened the uh, H2O offices, the first phase, which is a 27,000 square meter uh, office building in the Vaxi Road office corridor. And uh, they say that construction for the second phase may start in uh, the second half of 2023. And the third and final phases are to be handed over in 2026 and 2027. So quite substantial development going on. Yeah, there yeah, definitely a timeline of 
openings. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, it's staggered, obviously, depending on the market. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, and um, yeah, and uh, tenants are already obviously in the first phase, and sixty percent of that is uh, already leased, and uh, software service service office providers are quite a substantial part of that. So, mm -hmm. it's a, mm -hmm. again, it's a, a new, well, not a new, but a new popular sector that's uh, developing in today's market. Mm -hmm. And uh, moving to uh, the Czech Republic and in the logistics market and VGP have acquired a new tenant in their newly prepared uh, Ustinad Labin Park, which is uh, sit situated in the northern part of the Czech Republic, about 90 kilometers from Prague. And the new tenant is in Hall A is Bossel, which is a company from the car industry. And the new hall is built to uh, green uh, Briam levels, very good. And uh, VGP expects to complete it by the end of this year and handover will take place in January 2024. And finally for today, moving to Romania and uh, the Fashion House Group uh, will start the construction of a second phase of their fashion outlet centre in uh, Paladi, which is located, located in the eastern part of Bucharest. Um, and uh, it's, they, they, they say that they've recorded record sales increases and uh, in both in both of their uh, factory outlet projects in in Bucharest, mm -hmm. and um, the company invests around 45 million euros in this next phase of Palladi. And uh, this is the seventh centre of this kind developed by Lee Brecton Wood and Fashion House Group across Europe. And uh, according to Brendan O'Reilly, Managing Director of Fashion House Group, he says that outlet sales were boosted by the current economic context and changes in the behaviour of shoppers. So, yeah, people looking for bargains, let their money go a bit further. Yeah, well, we saw at the awards, Fashion Outlet is business is doing quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the one that won the uh, the Warsaw Designer Outlet. It's uh, it's a really nice place. Yeah, amazing. Really, place. really exactly. a nice upgrade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Well, Winston, uh, thank you for the news of, for today. Great to hear everything. Great to hear so many things happening. PRS in Warsaw and the logistics. You know, uh, the, every single sector. I think we covered. Yeah. Um, so enjoy the uh, rest of the day, and we will see you back in the uh, Warsaw, in our Warsaw studio tomorrow morning. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show, and don't forget to share it with your friends.